The Commerce program was featured on Astro's Agenda Awani earlier this month. MAI CEO Madani Sahari and CMS Consortium Chairman Datuk Sri Syed Zainal Abidin Syed Tahir spoke to Agenda Awani host Kamarul Bahrum Harun on the consumer mindset changes towards energy efficient vehicles and the infrastructure management of vehicle traffic volume and carbon emissions in cities. Apa yang kita cuba nak promosikan di sini ialah bukan hanya uh, dari segi uh, untuk uh, encourage public transportation LRT, MRT dan Komos uh, sebagai NMAL okay? tetapi pada, pada masa yang sama uh, kita semua, semua sudah maklum EV ni di antara kebanyakan uh, ialah kereta EEV okay. EV ni merupakan satu teknologi satu ialah segmen mm-hmm. yang sebenarnya zero emission okay. Okay? lebih daripada itu spin off ni ialah kerana Komos ini Uh, uh, ianya membuat penyediaan dan menyediakan infrastruktur hmm. untuk hmm. charging ya, charging hmm. uh, yeah. electric vehicle dan kita berkendakkan supaya charging ini dapat di di apa nama itu disediakan ya, disediakan di seluruhan di keseluruhan negara. Jadi LRT MRT memang orang kata dah cantik dari segi yeah. uh, public transportation hmm. dengan adanya EV itu sebenarnya really the in the last 10% of what okay. it takes to green uh, the, the city environment. Kita nak encourage Sesiapa yang ingin membeli kereta EV secara persendirian, mm-hmm. tanggalah takkan kita tak boleh pakai Komos. Memang kita terbuka. Jadi, all you have to do is kita menjadi ahli pada Komos. Okay. Sebabnya kita ada SOP yang kita perlukan. Okay. Bila menjadi ahli, dengan bayar yang agak minimal, dia, you akan datang balik ke Komos Station dan mm-hmm. you boleh charge dengan bayar yang tentu. Okay. Komos is an open system. Mm-hmm. Sekarang ni kita memakai umpama kereta Nissan dan Renault. Yeah. Dan kita boleh pakai kereta apa-apa saja pun. Mm-hmm tak perlu eksklusif ya. itu sebab kita ingin bekerja dengan pihak kerajaan sebab kerajaan hmm. ingin menyokong semua hmm. OEM untuk datang ke Malaysia okay. itu konsep keterbukaan okay. ya. Komos short for Cohesive Mobility Solutions is Malaysia's first electric vehicle sharing program due for launch in August this year the collaboration between MAI CMS Consortium and Green Tech Malaysia will start with 60 EV units and charging stations to set up beginning in Klang Valley followed by Langkawi Melaka Johor and Penang There are four pillars basically we are trying to address uh, for commerce to address is uh, CO2 reduction, fuel consumption uh, reduction, fuel consumption meaning uh, subsidy reduction and also uh, there's a secondary uh, objective which is uh, co- uh, congestion, try to reduce the congestion and also to, to promote utilization of public transport. So, the program aims to grow to 3,500 EV cars nationwide by 2020. Users can access a mobile application to book an EV car and a parking bay for convenience. Three models will be offered, the Nissan Leaf, Renault Zoe and Renault Twizy. MAI, Tima and Femtem jointly hosted the 2014 Taiwan Malaysia Automotive Electronics Industry Corporation Fair. The Havdi event was held in MAI Cyberjaya and was attended by Tima delegates, local industry players and the Malaysia Investment Development Authority or MIDA. The cooperation fair aims to establish new business partnerships between both nations, encourage foreign direct investment and the sharing of technology to manufacture components for energy efficient vehicles. The events featured networking sessions among attending organizations and discussions on the national automotive policy, Malaysia's foreign investment policy and the electronics and components industry between Malaysia and Taiwan. The first phase of the BWT program for the Penang and Kedah state was held in Juru Auto City last week. MAI briefed more than 50 participating workshop owners introducing the workshop development and transformation program engaging general problems faced by workshops in their respective states. The BWDT program consists of two phases carried out in a 12-month period. In the first phase, MAI will approach workshop owners to brief them on the requirements and expected outcomes of the program. The workshops then undergo benchmarking to determine the current levels and their recommended improvement. The second phase consists of recurring visits to carry out administrative and technical trainings. Training areas include finance management, marketing, resource management, 5S implementation, equipment mastering and automotive skills. To date, 140 workshops from Perak, Sabah, Kelantan, Penang and Kedah are undergoing phase 1 of the program. 105 workshops in Perak, Sabah and Kelantan have begun phase 2 of the program. At the same event, Fast Payment Solutions in Neighborhood was also present to introduce the FastPay system. FastPay allows business owners to perform credit card transactions by attaching a smart card reader to a 3G enabled smartphone. The SME Annual Showcase or SMEDEX 2014 took place early this month. The annual event organized by SME Corp Malaysia and Ministry of International Trade and Industry METI brings together government agencies, multinational corporations and SMEs in an effort to encourage potential entrepreneurs starting their businesses. 
the event was officiated by Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak. The event featured exhibitions and talks on topics ranging from business financing to international trade opportunities. Jabatan Standard Malaysia, the United States Embassy, and the British Malaysian Chamber of Commerce were among the parties who presented at the talks. SMEs are an integral part of the automotive industry as they make up a vast chunk of the automotive supply chain. Currently, more than 300 small and medium-sized automotive businesses are involved in the manufacturing and after-sales sector. The National Automotive Policy 2014 identifies missing linkages within the automotive manufacturing and aftermarket ecosystems and also addresses the remanufacturing sector. The policy, announced in January this year, sets the development of small and medium-sized automotive businesses as one of its key targets.